Hey guys, this is Serial Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel and let's talk about another episode of the Cedia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia where today we will be going through the new LD and the new rework of the upcoming characters. So starting off the bat, we have Dark Knight Cecil. Dark Knight Cecil actually get a rework on his skill 1, skill 2 and finally getting his LD board so we can actually use his LD core right now. So Dark Knight Cecil's uh, condition to change his skill 1 and skill 2 into the plus version right now is a lot easier than before. Previously, it was uh, having the HP of him be lower than 50%, whereas now it's as long as it's not max. So the plus version of Dark Knight Cecil now provides a 3 Dark AoE Bravery plus single target HP dealt by 4 times, whereas the non-plus non version only has 2 HP dumps, whereas the plus version of his skill 2 now has a 4 Dark single target Bravery plus HP attack, single target HP attack dealt by 3 times, with a 50% splash. The non plus version though doesn't have uh, any extra HP dumps, it's only one. So to utilize uh, Dark Knight Sensor right off the bat to make sure that he start off with the plus version, you want to use either his LD or his additional ability to reduce his own HP so that he can get access to the plus version of his entire attack. With his LD board, his LD now deals a force Dark single target bravery plus single target HP dealt by 4 times with a 50% splash right now so it's still instant turn rate for those who never used Dark Knight Sassel before as for his crystal level 90 his EX now does a 4 dark single target bravery plus single target HP attack dealt by 4 times and as before as similar as before it refunds his skill 1 and skill 2 by 1 skill each it also improves his EX buff right now with an additional 20% HP damage up his additional ability now does a 4 dark single target bravery plus single target HP attack and he extends the buff to 6 turns as well as providing a 20% attack up and 40% self brave damage cap up. So the best part about Dark Knight Assassin upgrade here is actually his LD board where we can actually finally use him as a core. His core provides a 20% HP damage up debuff on the enemy and also delays the enemy by 1 turn so that is actually pretty awesome. Having those HP damage up is always a good uh, call to abuse. For those who want to use Dark Knight Sassel in the team yourself, he's actually really good with Cloud and Kais before and he's going to be really good with them right now as well, especially Kais getting his early uh, Crystal Level 90 rework and hopefully Cloud doesn't get delayed too long. Even though his EX and his skill 1 right now has an upgrade, you normally want to spam his LD and his skill 2 to maximize the launch damage because that's what uh, DKC normally do. Also because of him sacrificing his own HP on almost all of his attack, you normally want to either zero boss turn the stage or run him with a protection. So in my situation, I normally run him to nuke the enemy as fast as possible with the launches that he has. Right now, pairing him with Kais, like I mentioned, would be really awesome, but I think as a third unit, you can go for a Delayer type, such as uh, Lightning, Garland, or Cloud, like I mentioned. But in my opinion right now, Dark Knight Cecil function better as a call instead of being in the main party itself, due to the fact that Kais actually provide a 8 turn uh, launching buff, it actually minimizes Dark Knight Cecil's role as a launcher itself since you might run a better or harder hitting unit to maximize the launch damage and you don't need him to provide the secondary launch as Kais himself already achieved that role. Regardless though, I think as a call itself, HP damage up is always a very sweet debuff to have. Although we'll be getting more HP damage up later down the line, but as an early Crystal Level 90 era, he's one of the early uh, unit that we can get as a call that provides this kind of debuff. So if you're a newer player, I do recommend picking him up for that call alone. A delay plus a HP damage up is definitely very useful in the long run as well. Okay, so moving forward, we have Papalimo. So Papalimo himself functions as a turn hogger. He's not exactly like Alise because of the sheer fact that he can switch between uh, AoE and single target and also most of his kit relies on instant turn rate instead of fast turn rate so this makes his turn jumping or turn hogging a lot more reliable than Alise but this also makes his kit less uh, complicated. His skill 1 now does a 4 fire single target bravery plus HP attack that by 2 times and inflict fire in peril for 4 turns with a 50% splash. 
He also gave him the Astro Fire buff. His skill 2 now does a 4 Ice Single Target Bravery plus HP Attack that by 2 times. Whereas the skill 2 plus version which is active while the Astro Fire buff is present, it will deals a 3 Ice Single Target Bravery plus HP Attack that by 3 times and inflict a Ice in Peril for 8 turns. It also grants him the Umbral Ice buff. So with the rework of his Crystal Level 90, his EX now provides a 30% attack up from his overhead buff right at 0 stacks. So you don't have to actually give him 1 stack to have that uh, attack up buff. As for the EX itself, it now deals a 4 hit fire AoE bravery plus split HP attack dealt by 4 times. And if there is a Umbral Ice buff present, it will deals Blizzard 4 instead. It is a 3 hit. I single target plus HP attack that by 4 times. Do note that both of his EX is instant turn rate. It also improved his HP attack which is uh, foul. Um, not exactly a rework I would be considering because it's a stupid rework of only, uh, of only adding one additional bravery damage to the uh, attack itself. It becomes a 5 AoE bravery plus split HP attack which I really don't understand why they want to make this as the rework itself. But anyway. His additional ability also has some upgrade, it now extends to 6 turns and it provides 20% Brave Gain Up and Solar Overflow Up and 10% Gain Overflow Up. So his LD, which is his new kit, is a 4 Fire Single Target Bravery plus HP Attack that by 3 times, followed by a uh, 7 Fire Single Target Bravery plus HP Attack. It is also an instant turn rate and it grants him the Astro Fire buff. It increases one stack of his overhead buff and also grants one stack of a new buff called uh, Enochian. Is it Enochian or Enochian for 6 turn? This buff provides a 60% attack up, 20% brave damage up, 30% HP damage up. It also increases one stack every few turns and when reaching 10 stack, it will grant one stack of his overhead buff and then reset back to one stack again. It will be removed if neither the Astro Fire or the Umbral buff is active for Papalimo. So the idea here is actually to maintain the Astro Fire buff or Umbral Ice buff to make sure that it doesn't fall off so this uh, Enochian buff doesn't, uh, is not being removed. So when at one stack of his overhead buff, he now has a new bravery attack which is called Xenoglossy. This bravery attack will only be active, like I said, when his overhead buff is at least one stack. It is a 4 single target bravery plus HP attack down by 4 times and it's an instant turn rate skill and it will consume 1 stack of his overhead buff after you use it. So basically as you can see that Papalimo has a lot of instant turn rate skill. His EX, his LD and this new bravery attack all has instant turn rate. So the idea here is to maintain his buff using his skill 1, his LD and his skill 2 plus. His LD and skill 1 grants him the Astro Fire buff, whereas his skill 2 plus grants him the Umbral Ice buff. So essentially, you want to determine the buff that you need depending on whether you're going for single target or uh, AoE bravery attack and HP attack. So for example, since Papalimo start off with 2 turns right off the bat, and his EX will be ready after the first turn, so you want to choose if whether or not your EX will be more catered to single target or uh, AoE bravery attack. So if for single target, you want to use his uh, skill 2 plus at the right off the bat so that his EX will have the Blizzard 4 active. And if you want the AoE attack, you want his to use his skill 1 so that his EX will have the Fire 4 active instead. So from what you can notice here, Papalimo is essentially another Alise, like I mentioned, but a lot more reliable as a turn hogger because of his skill going for the instant turn rate instead of fast turn rate. So the best team comp for Turnhogger is not exactly the hardest one to figure out. We have been through this a lot of times. Turnhogger's uh, most friendly units such as Garnet, Core, Kane, Cut of Darkness, all these are a very prime example of uh, you could run him with. Papalimo also relies a lot on Bravery Gain, just like what his additional ability provides. So you can run him with units like Ishtola, which provide that sweet Bravery Gain up, as well as uh, Pain etc etc. Of course, like I mentioned, Garnet is the premium choice for Papalimo, but that is just if you want to look for a more alternative unit to run him with. Alfinal is actually a big fan of Final Fantasy XIV, like uh, if it's not obvious enough. 
So he actually made a lot of run with Papalimo in the team. So if you want to get an idea or get a glimpse of what his entire kit looks like, you can check out his video. Personally, I'm gonna skip it in my main account. If I ever gonna throw some ticket here, it's only because I want Locks BT, but really I don't think I'm gonna do it because like I mentioned, he's very similar to Alise in their kit. And Alise for me is already blue in my main account. I'll be going for him in my alternate account though because I really want that uh, Dark Knight Assassin's call. And I think Papli Mo in my alternate account might be helpful as well since I don't have Alise there. So we'll see how it goes. But for now, that is my option. Alright, so what about you guys? Are you guys pulling for them? Do let me know down in the comments below. If you like my content here, do consider subscribing to my channel and like the video. Thank you again guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.